r slash ask reddit people who've actually slept with their step sibling or sibling how did it happen and how was your relationship affected ah yes only a short few days into quarantines and we have already arrived here it's a welcome change from making me feel like i'm either going to die or end up homeless in a month mum dated a guy guy had a son same age as me we hated our parents and slept together had a fun time Broke up due to him using drugs and me not dealing with it. Both are married, to other people, and happy. We don't talk even through we see each other at family gatherings after our parents got married. Edit to clarify, he was sun drugs for years. Lied to me over and over that he was clean and he wasn't. I was always trying to support him but he just didn't want to clean up yet. He did clean up for his wife. Slept with my former sister-in-law. Is that close enough? How did happen? She hated my ex-wife her sister. My ex-wife cheated on me. We were drinking together about 6 months after it ended and she said you should duck me to get even. Relationship didn't at all change. We just know each other a little better than we used to. Both dating others now and it's like it never happened. Edit. Well. This blew up. No the ex doesn't know. She'd kill both of us. Not even joking. Dad dated a woman. He dated a lot of women so it became normal. She had a daughter. We got drunk at a party. Hooked up. Real boy meets world shit. Then they got married. And that's when we cut it out. Then they got divorced. And I'm still not boning her anymore. Ask me after quarantine. Hey stepbrother. Wanna come play in my toilet paper castle? My parents are actually step siblings. They began dating when they were teenagers and when their parents met they fell in love and got married. Making my mom and dad step siblings. They ended up moving in together since they were both still living with their parents and my grandparents just let them share a room. It's always been a joke in our family that my mom is my aunt, my dad is my uncle, and my brothers are my cousins. Edit. Grammar lol. Edit 2. My grandparents didn't fall in love until after my parents had started dating and my parents broke up after becoming step siblings. But not before my mom got pregnant with me. Both of my brothers are half brothers so I'm the only one in this predicament. My parents haven't been together for 23 years but they are still step siblings to this day. Edit 3. Here's a fun little story since this is blowing up. My parents broke up before finding out that my mom was pregnant with me. One of my half brothers is only 2 months younger than me. Once my brother's mom became pregnant she moved into my dad's room. Causing my dad to have to live with 2 separate women both pregnant with his babies at the same time. The whole situation was messed up. Just joined reddit and one of the first things I've seen is this. Welcome to the party. I've already started pro gaming so if people could start sharing stories before I run out of lube, that would be nice. How's your TP supply? I slept with my stepsister. She came in town for visit her dad and when I went outside to help bring luggage and she gave me the duck me eyes as soon as she saw me and instantly I knew I was in trouble. For a week and a half I kept being polite and trying to remain distant because I had been warned by my stepdad and her brothers to not even look in her direction. Not bring any friends over. Not do anything wrong and I had absolutely no intention of doing so. But it was the first time I had ever had anyone want me that badly and I gave in and we secretly got together for the remainder of the months she spent in town. We were both young and dumb and fell in love. And thought we hid it well but when they found out after she left I got my ass beat. For a few years they wouldn't let her visit and we kept in touch. Then after college I moved to where she lived. And we have been together ever since. 11 years now and we have a 5 year old daughter and 3 year old son. Everyone is completely fine with it now and we make jokes about it all the time. Edit. Feel free to ask questions. First kiss kiss. First bang bang. Do my kids call me dad or uncle? First time I met her mom. Or grandparents. How I explain things to my dad or co-workers. Lots of funny stories to share. Not me but my close family. My grandmother had three husbands. Four children with all different dads. My mother's dad was sexually abusive and had been sleeping with my aunt. Mom's older sister. They continued that relationship for years. But my grandma divorced him and he married my aunt. So my aunt was also step grandma and my mother's dad was also uncle. 
When he finally died I remember my mother saying I don't want to go to his funeral but I really think I should be there to support my stepmom. That woman has always had a warped sense of humor. I love it. No serious tag. Throw away. For obvious reasons. We started fooling around when I was 17 and she was 16. Our families had recently been blended and we were living together for the first time. We just slowly grew closer together and eventually kissed. I'd often sneak into her bedroom late at night. Since somebody's going to ask, I'd say she was, and remains, a solid 8 stroke 10. Both in terms of looks and personality. I'm of the 6th of May 2010 on a good day. It was all a first through third base for a number of years. She wanted me to, but I didn't want to take her virginity. We called off because I went away to school and got a serious girlfriend. We ended up hooking up and having sex on the regular for a few years when we lived in the same city and we were both single. We stopped when we both got partners. The sex was nice. Not extraordinary or anything. It was fun to have this family secret in our adolescence. As adults, it just didn't seem like anybody else's business. We have three other siblings and I think they might have suspected in our adolescence. But I don't think they ever knew for sure. Or maybe they did and didn't say anything. That was about 15 years ago. We're close now. And we've helped each other through tough times. But we're totally platonic. I don't regret it at all. It was an act of lust between horny teenagers that deepened to acts of loving affection between consenting adults. It was weird. She just kept bending over a lot and saying step brother and asking me to help her with really easy stuff. Then I swear I blinked and she was bouncing on my coke yelling this is wrong but I love it. Did she end up finding the water? I was seeing a girl right after graduating high school. My dad knew her mom somehow but she was married at the time. Didn't work out with this girl but her mom and my dad are basically married at this point. I'm late to this but here's my story that I had posted on the Tiffa guy's post. Dude banged his cousin. This was in reply to a comment well at least she wins shittiest breakup story. My wife ducked her brother in my bed when I went upstairs to sleep. We had company over and they were a bit loud. And my bed is on the first floor where they all were so I decided to go upstairs cause it would be quieter. Woke up about 2-3 hours later and went downstairs to grab water and rejoin my wife but she already had company. I'm pretty sure I win shittest breakup story. Edit. Probably should have used a throwaway for this but whatever. Edit 2. To answer a lot of common questions they have the same mother but different fathers. So they're technically half brother slash sister. She was adopted and met him about 6 months prior. They were talking on the phone constantly to the point where even though I was happy she found her family I had to let her know I thought the frequency of their talking was weird. There. Still literally on the phone 2 4. 7. I've caught her trying to put him on mute and in her pocket so they'd still be together. It's insanely unhealthy. Yes they were drunk. But they knew what they were doing. And they're still doing it to this day. I found out about this in February of 2019. I attempted to try to work things out with her and she had said they were just talking and it wasn't like that anymore. I got a Facebook video chat request from her brother's and girlfriend telling me she found inappropriate texts between them and left him. She again told me they were done and they weren't taking any more after that because his girlfriend had outed them to her newfound family and she received messages from her sisters telling her they were disgusted and wished they never found her etc. I believed again they were done at this point. We were going out for my birthday in April and I found her sending pictures of herself dressed up to him with replies about how sexy she looked and emails between them about how you know what we have. But we can't deny it anymore. It was gut wrenching and heartbreaking. I served her shortly after. She's been delaying the court dates claiming she needs more time to find a lawyer because she doesn't have anywhere else to go and the house is in my name and I can't exactly evict her. The Game of Thrones references aren't as funny as you think they are when it's happening to you in real life. That was one of my favorite shows and I can't even think about it anymore. Neither are the Pornhub ones. I literally can't go on a porn site to jerk off anymore because everything is incest related and I instantly shut down. I may do a tiffu of my own or maybe a different subreddit at some point. It's been cathartic to get this out there and read some nice replies and support from everyone. But the jokes and the people who think I'm making this up for ducking internet points might outweigh it. For everyone who said something kind or comforting. Thank you.
and thank you for the awards although I really don't think this is award worthy. I'm absolutely miserable. I've been with her for literally half my life. She's the mother of my child. I never expected to lose her like this. Edit 3. Thanks to mostly everyone for the kind words, support, and advice. A lot of the common questions people have asked have been answered on my original post which you can read on my comment history if you're interested. For the handful of people who are calling me an idiot or a cuck and whatever other fun names you thought up just because I didn't flip a switch in my head and immediately remove this person from my life or because I tried to work through it with her. To see if this relationship could be saved it's a lot harder than you think. I wish it were that easy but it's not. I'm going to turn 35 this year and we've been together for 17 years. We have a 6 year old child who does not understand what's going on. I really hope none of you find yourself in the position I was put in but I can guarantee you wouldn't be able to snap your fingers and move on either. So save your snarky bullshit. You don't just wake up one day and decide every feeling you've had for the love of your life and the mother of your child is gone. It's taken me some time and I'm slowly moving on but I'd be lying if I said I still didn't care about her. There are times when we're doing things together with my son and I have to remind myself that we're not together anymore. It's hard. And it probably will be for a very long time. If people found out you slept with your step sibling you would get some stares. These puns are off the rails funny. My dad's brother married my mom's sister. My parents somehow didn't really meet until several months after the wedding. My cousins and I are as close to incest as it gets without actually crossing blood relatives. Just for fun. My siblings have a different dad than me so I actually look more related to those cousins than I do my own siblings. I just try to not explain that to people but it definitely is weird when it gets out. Edit. I should explain it's only weird because people get confused. Until they figure out it's just two sisters married two brothers. My parents are divorced now anyway so it rarely comes up. More if we have a get together and a newcomer mentions it's funny I look like my cousins and my siblings and I don't look related pretty much. I had a friend in high school that dated this girl for like 6 months before their parents decided to randomly get married. They, the parents, only dated for like a month. A few months later he is trying to set me up with his sister and bragging that she gives good head. It was very weird. Sounds like the parents planned it all for shit and giggles. Do half sisters count? It was the bottom half. If that makes a difference. Docents count sorry. I lost my virginity to my third cousin by blood. Had no idea we were related until 6 months into the relationship. Open to questions though but that's about the closest I can get to what OP asked. I hate that beach now though. Oh god. This is just bad. Okay. So. It wasn't my sibling. But a step cousin on my stepfather's side of the family. There is a group of kids and a group of us all around the same age. Whenever he have get togethers. We teens always hung out until recently when we joined the adults. But I was 15. During my sexual peak I guess you could say. And we all decided to play truth or dare. Now. For context. I joined their lives after they were already 12 or so. And I was the only white guy. I was more their best friend of sorts than a relative. And I had been previously caught checking out one of the girls on the last visit. In my defense. She had worn a tight dress at that time which showed off. Her assets. So the two other guys naturally made me kiss her. For their own reasons I suppose. Me and her kinda had the same expression of okay then. Game on. So we did it. We were the two ballsy ones of the group and usually didn't back down from a challenge. Everyone did their hoots and when it was her turn. They told her to make out with me for 5 minutes. Again. Same mutual non-spoken agreement. And that happened. This escalated until it got to them handing us a condom and saying go into the other room and smash. There was a mild hesitation. But we both. Again. Just non-verbally said duck it. And so that happened. Solid 8 stroke 10. We agreed never again and to never speak of it. Edit. A word. Obligatory not me. Or even quite step sibling. But still a fun story. One of my dad's best friends. Let's call him Rob was partially crazy, admitted to a mental hospital briefly for running around town in tighty witties and trying to get into his ex-wife's house. I grew up around this guy, so it was great. He's dead now though, so the fun times are over. Anyways, Rob and his ex did have a daughter. Well, 
his brother and his bro's wife split at some point, and they have a son, Rob's nephew. One thing obviously leads to another and Rob and his ex-sister-in-law get together, and you guessed it, get married. So now Rob's nephew is now also his stepson, and his daughter is also now stepdaughter to her aunt. Edit. I'm sticking with the nonsensical writing. Rob would appreciate it. Our parents met at our wedding. Mom was a widow. My father-in-law divorced. So we weren't step-siblings when we got married. But it still freaks people out. Confuse the hell out of our kids. Especially when I'd beg them to call me auntie when we went into stores. They were the devil's own in stores. My grandma's little brother married their first cousin. My grandmother tried commenting on my and my boyfriend's age difference saying it was weird. 12 years. Both consenting adults. All I had to say was your little brother literally had children with your cousin and that put the end to that. Mike dropped and then kicked off the stage. If you listen closely, you can almost hear the twang of a banjo in the background. My mom had a best friend. She died. Adopted her son who is older than me. I was 8. He was 18, and I idolized him. He took me shopping, out to eat, and just hung W me like a brother. I lived W my father, my mom dies, we both grow up, run into him when I was 19 and that was a fun weekend. Now I'm much older, we still talk but we never talk about it. I don't see how people can get upset or mad at you for sleeping with a step sibling. You're not related. If you're sleeping with each other then that means you have some attraction to them. Combining one stroke two, it's normal to be attracted to other people you are not related to the people be trippin'. It's not their fault their parents hooked up. All that free porn hub time. Somebody was bound to ask this question. My older brother dated our older stepsister. He was 15 16 she was 30 32. My mum was livid about it. Her dad pretended it wasn't happening. She was a bit of a sugar mama. Bought him lots of nice stuff. Flew him places. She took him to parties and did drugs with etc. Slept with him. My mum thinks she dated my brother just to spite her. I don't know how valid that is. Wouldn't surprise me. But my mum was also a piece of work. And to get back at her and her husband for allowing it. She slept with her stepson. Don't worry. I'm still in therapy. Plus plus. I slept with two of my stepsisters. My mom had been dating a guy for about 10 years. I had met one of his daughters when I was in high school years ago when we all went on a family vacation. Let's call her sister one. I had a feeling she liked me. Playing footsie under table. Etc. But nothing came of it and I never saw her again until I was in college. One day I'm stuck in a part of town real late after the train stop running. No way to get home I remember my mom's boyfriend lives around there. I walked to his house. Only his daughter is home. Mind you we're both about 21 now. She lets me in and we start hanging out and drinking. One thing leads to another and we duck. At some point her father came home but he didn't say anything and just went to bed. Second story is about the sister of the girl mentioned above. Let's call her sister number 2 we went to the same college. She was a year ahead of me and was supposed to be my mentor. I ended up messing around with all her friends from the dorms because I was cute little brother. But she was always just big sis. Fast forward 2 years later we're at a house party at the sister number 1 apartment. After a night of drinking it winds down and everyone leaves. Sister number 1 goes into her room with her boyfriend. So sister number 2 and me are alone in the living room talking. The drunk me starts asking about her old friends and the conversation turned sexual somehow. But then we start kissing and make our way to a spare bedroom. We duck. No one ever knew. We did it a few other times after that too. My relationship with them is great. My mom and their dad got married not a long after. I hang out with them and treat them like my sisters. The only awkward moment was at a family cookout when I got drunk and sat in front of them both and said you know I ducked both of you right. Yes. I think I may have had a drinking problem. My cousin-in-law. Adopted. African. We used to play mommy and daddy. And our games got serious real quick. We used to kiss. A lot. We were 8 or 9 at the time. And were just mimicking what we saw on TV. The whole family knew. But it never really cared. They did make jokes about it during Christmas. When we were older. Our current relationship is awkward but pleasant. 
we get along well, but you can't undo some memories of having your entire family laugh to you. I didn't talk to her between the ages of 10 and 17. She's a year younger, because I watched Harold and Kuma go to White Castle and realized how weird it was to have a relationship inside a family. This one's probs gonna get buried underneath joke replies but, I accidentally boned my half sister while we were in high school. Basically we had never known each other beforehand and we met in high school she confessed that she had feelings for me and we started dating. About one year in we started having sex. Fast forward two years and we graduate. Then she introduces me to her parents and there I meet my father who I had only known from photos. Since he and my mum got divorced when I was born. That's when I found out my then girlfriend was my half sister. We agreed it was a good idea to stop dating when we found out and were still friends to this day and rumored since rent is expensive in uni dorms and no we don't have sex anymore. Only a few times cause we got really drunk. I dated my, I believe it was third cousin once removed or something like that for about 6 months. We had already been exclusively dating for like a month when I mentioned my great great grandfather who was a tiny bit famous in my state and he knew exactly who I was talking about. Which is not normal. Turns out it's because that guy was also his great great grandfather. I freaked out and asked my mom about her family history. He asked his mom. Great great grandfather was a polygamist. I came from one wife and he came from another. It was weird. But not weird enough to stop. I remember going to his grandmother's house for Thanksgiving, located in the area that aforementioned GG grandfather was famous for, and marveled at how similar it was to my own grandma's house. Thanks Mormons. Edit. I forgot I have another story. I dated someone for 5 years. We got engaged and he ended our relationship via email 7 weeks before the wedding. He's a total piece of shit. But we were also distantly related. We both are descended from Samuel Adams. I thought it was hilarious. He was horrified and reconsidered our relationship. The discovery was made while we eating German pancakes. So I will now forever associate that memory with German pancakes. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. 